When they came back from college, they discovered that everything has changed. They noticed it from a mile away that his character and attitude has been shaping like a bricks that spring from doors more clay. She thought he was trying to isolate himself, but neither did she understand that he has received something that made him distinguished from the rest. She came close, looked into his eyes and couldn't recognize her son because he doesn't even look like himself. She was curious. She became eager to know the reason behind his silence. She persuaded him to speak. His face was buried beneath the ground. His lips started shaking like a man whose life was on the verge of death, but he finally spoke anyway and he said, Pardon my manners, man, I did not crave your indulgence. Before I embarked on this journey, I have finally been initiated. She could not contain the words she heard. She shouted and screamed out loud. Her voice echoed through the roof when she said, Jesus. Then he said, Do not mention the name of my Capon in vain. Your Capon! Your Capon! Is this what you went to tertiary institution to become? But if I explain, you know when you are newly admitted into college, you can easily be intimidated. So I decided to get fortified. That evening while I was in the hostel where I recited, some men approached me with the constitution from their kingdom. The word they spoke persuaded me. So I decided to honor their invitation. When I got to the province, the man who represented the Capone spoke words. Words so powerful. Words so powerful that they swept me off my feet. I fell for L-O-V-E. I decided to get initiated when I blend in. I took the oath. They gave me an orientation before my induction. I was buried beneath H2O and I rose. Buried beneath H2O and I rose. When I rose, I started speaking the language of the gods. I started speaking coded language that was only made for the initiated. I spoke in tongues. Marana Gariana Parana Ariababari. She came close to rip off his clothes to see if he still has scars left on his body due to the brutal torture he might have received when he was going through the initiation process. He said, Hold on, ma. My Capone took lashes from my lashes. He took nails from my nails. He was brutally tortured for my sake. So I will not be enslaved when I came. Then she looked at her son and she said, You mean you went to the tertiary institution of higher learning to belong to a fraternity? He said, Yes, the fraternity of divinity. Because what this world offers is pain, that the end is full of calamity. So I decided to belong to eternity. Mama, where I belong now? We always have our meetings every first Sunday of the month. We come together, we drink blood and we eat flesh. We drink blood and we eat flesh because they have guns with them. But we have God in us. They have guns with them, but we have God in us. Then tears started streaming down her cheeks. Then she said, please, I would love to meet Dayo Capone. I would also love to get initiated too. I said, don't bother, man. I represent the Capone. Let me do the initiation myself. If any among you here have been initiating people into the body of Christ or blending them into the blood of the Lamb, you know that no initiation on this earth can ever take place without a tooth. No initiation on this earth can ever take place without a tooth. When she said she wanted to give her life, I brought her my tools. I brought her my tools. The tools that will not chastise you. The tools that will not leave marks on your body. The tools that will not leave you going home in pains. I brought out my tools. When I was done with her, she received peace that she'd never gotten before. My brethren in the brotherhood, do not assume that everyone in your neighborhood is initiated into the body of Christ or blended in into the blood of the Lamb. Because each day men long for where to belong. Men long for where to belong. Let's do heaven a favor by representing earth well because this is war. This is war! And there is no neutral ground. It is either you are with us or against us. And for those who will sail through just to fish men, at the times when you sail through, the sun might be ranging. Don't be scared. The perfect anchor is always with you. Your point one is always on board. The ship can never capsize. He will always say, peace be still. Peace be still. I make you not forget. Now blood, now we drink, not be Zobo. Eternity is where we belong, not be Yolo. Beautiful, we cut of many colors, not be Polo. And now God be our defender, not be Yobo. How many of you remember that old generation song that say, I cherish the old rugged cross. To everyone listening to me, rugged you. Rugged you. Because we bear the mark of Christ, we don't disembark. We bear the mark of Christ, we don't disembark. So when we are coming back at night and the devil whisper through some people by saying, who goes there, we tell them Jesus. Who goes there? Who goes there? Who goes there? Who goes there? With a fly color. And the color where would they fly in are the blood of Jesus now in the inside. The anointing upon our life, no, they pamper egg. It they break the yoke. 
Look at someone and say the anointing upon my life. Say you know the pamper egg. Say they break the yolk. Say the anointing upon my life. You know the pamper egg. It they break the yolk. Them the reason say we the function with supernatural speed. They know they lie. Now grace carry us come, not be your cada man. Now grace. Now carry us come. Not be your cada man. God bless you.